Adjustment presets in Photoshop are one of the easiest ways to speed up your photo editing workflow, but there are a few limitations. So let's break down how you can create your own adjustment presets, but also how you can make them even better with the help of your own custom Photoshop actions that I'll show you how to create in this video. To create an adjustment preset in Photoshop, you of course need to add your own adjustment layers that you would like to use as a repeated edit for all of your other projects. In this case, I'm gonna create something that adds really high contrast and also mutes the sky in this particular photo. To begin, I'll add a curves adjustment layer from the adjustments panel, and then I'll go and add a standard S curve just by bringing up the highlights and bringing down the shadows. This will give us a nice punchy contrast. Now we'll go and add a hue saturation adjustment from the adjustments panel once again. And now I want to target the sky. So I'll click on the hand icon and then click on the sky to sample that color range. This puts me inside of the cyan's color range and I can now go and adjust this as needed. So I'll bring down the saturation and down the lightness to make that look a little bit more punchy overall. Now with these two adjustments applied, I'm happy with how this is looking. And let's say I now want to save these adjustments as a reusable preset in other projects. In that case, all I need to do is shift click both of the layers and then within the adjustments panel, which by the way, if you do not see this, just go up to window and then down here to adjustments to reveal it, we'll want to go up and make sure that we find the your presets section. If you don't see these presets, make sure to click on the hamburger icon and then go down here to modern view. If you're in the classic view, you won't see this option. So make sure modern view is enabled. From there, beside the your preset section, we have a plus icon. So we'll click on that. And then now we can give our preset a name from the selected adjustment layers in our project. I'll call this to muted sky contrast and click save. Now, if I go and delete both of these adjustment layers by dragging them to the trash icon and open up the Your Presets section, you'll notice I have a muted sky contrast adjustment that if I click on, it will apply both of those adjustment layers that we just created with the exact same settings within a group called the name of that particular adjustment preset, in this case, muted sky contrast. Now this is super handy, but the problem with this is that if you are using any type of layer mask to make selective adjustments with a specific adjustment layer, those layer mask settings will not be saved with your adjustment preset. So to fix this, we can create a Photoshop action, which I'll show you how to do in just a moment. Now, before we move on to creating an action for the adjustment presets, if you're new to Photoshop and feeling a little overwhelmed by all of the options in the program, be sure to download my free Photoshop quick start guide in the description below. It breaks down the most important things to focus on from square one so you can feel more confident in the program. Again, it's totally free just by joining my email list and I'll leave that link in the description below. So for this particular action, let's say I want to restrict this to a gradient that comes down across the sky of the photo. So to begin, I'm going to make sure I have no adjustments added to my image currently. So we're going to be starting fresh. Now we'll go up to the actions panel, which if you don't see, you can find it by going to window and down here to actions to reveal it. From there, we're going to go and click on the new icon, then give our action a name. I'll call this to muted sky gradient. And now I'll click record. While we are recording our action, every single click that we take will now be recorded with this action that we can now repeat later on when we press play. You'll see how this works in just a minute. So the first step in this process is we want to add the muted sky contrast adjustment layer. So I'll click on that adjustment layer to apply that adjustment. I'll then go and click on the layer mask of the muted sky group. Then with that layer mask selected, I'll press command or control I to invert that mask and make it completely invisible. Therefore, all of our adjustments are no longer visible on our canvas. From there, I'll go and set my foreground color to 100% white and click OK. Then I'll grab my gradient tool by pressing G and then set my foreground type to the foreground to transparent gradient inside of the basics folder. With the linear gradient enabled, mode set to normal, opacity 100% and transparency enabled, still while that muted sky layer mask group is selected, I can now click and drag down from the sky to apply this adjustment with the gradient on that layer mask. Now I'm happy with how this is looking, so I'll press stop 
to finish that action recording. So now all of the clicks that we created in that process will be reapplied whenever we play that action. So let me delete this group here, dragging it down to the trash icon. And now I'll go to the muted sky gradient action that I just recorded and I'll click on play. This is going to run through all of the steps that we just did, applying that adjustment preset to our image, but this time with a layer mask so that it is only affecting the upper area of our photo where we applied our gradient adjustment to. So this is something that makes adjustment presets even more useful in my opinion, because then you can use adjustment presets alongside your selective adjustments with the help of these simple actions that you can create in under a minute. Now, if you want to make the most of your adjustment presets, you obviously need to know how to make the right adjustments. So to help you learn the best ways to color grade your images in Photoshop, check out this video next to help you figure out exactly how to make your photos come to life. I hope to see you there.